is up for President Biden's visit. We're going to take a look back at past visits from sitting and former presidents. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter <coughs> Julie Dunphy joins us live in Wilkesbury tonight with more. Julie. Nick Candace, good evening. Tomorrow is actually President Joe Biden's second visit to campus here at Wilkes University, his first as a sitting president. Now tomorrow marks just yet another visit of presidential visits, another handful of different presidential visits rather here in Wilkesbury and the surrounding areas. It's going to be a busy time downtown. No parking signs are up. The gates are out. The Diamond City is getting ready for another presidential visit as President Joe Biden is expected to speak Thursday at Wilkes University's March Center. As we prepare to welcome our current sitting president, we recount history of POTUS stops in the area. Mark Rossetti, Jr., Director of Operations and Programs at Luzerne County Historical Society, says Wilkesbury has a long history of presidential visits dating back to 1878 with President Rutherford B. Hayes. Nearly all of them make their way to the city at one point or another. Nearly all of them make their way downtown. I mean, President Hayes stayed at the Wyoming Valley Hotel, which was on River Street. So it's cliche, but history repeats. Rossetti says at least 14 presidential visits are documented. The vast majority, a campaign stop. When uh, John Kennedy was here, uh, when Jimmy Carter was here running for re-election, that was his first visit. Other stops made during election years also had a separate cause, like President Franklin D. Roosevelt in 1936. It was part of his big whistle stop re-election tour, but he also announced the construction of the first levy. In more recent years, many locals remember other presidential visits to the area. You know, I remember uh, back as a youth, I saw uh, President George W. Bush at the baseball stadium. The former president also visited the Kirby Center and delivered a campaign speech at what is now the Mohegan Sun Arena at Wilkesbury Township. They come both on presidential election years and on mid-year campaigns because this Pennsylvania is a very important state, as we've learned from the last couple of elections, and Luzerne County is becoming a key county within the state. Wilkes University itself is no stranger to visits from former or sitting presidents like President Nixon in 1972 and President Bill Clinton in 2008. President Biden is familiar with the Colonel's campus himself. He visited once before in October of 2016 when as vice president in support of presidential hopeful Hillary Clinton. Now tomorrow, the president is expected to give remarks on the bipartisan Safer Communities Act to further reduce gun crime and save lives. Now the White House has not given us a time just yet on his speech tomorrow. We'll bring you that information as soon as it becomes available.